Orchestra for a living, but today they're not allowed to use their instruments because we've set up an estimation challenge at Chessington World of Adventures. <laughs> First, meet John, a meteorologist. I use a thermometer and I measure in units of Celsius. Steve. I use a tape measure, which measures in metres. A surveyor. Pat, a nurse. I use a watch, which measures in seconds, minutes and hours. And Russell, a chef. I use scales, which measure in kilograms and grams. First. Russell, you should be really good at this one. Back right here we have Boris the sea lion. How much does he weigh in kilograms? Well, I reckon Boris is about five times my weight, so I'm going to go for 400 kilograms. No, I think that's way too much. I think nearer 250 kilograms. I think, well, more than three times my weight, but somewhere in between, I think, 325 kilograms. I think Boris weighs 275 kilograms. Now, we're not actually going to put Boris on the scales, but he did tell me earlier that he weighed 363 kilograms. So, Russell is the closest. Yay, hey, Russ! Thank you very much. <laughs> Next, now Pat, you work with a watch. So, what tips can you give us for estimating time? When I estimate second, I say the word crocodile. For example, one crocodile is approximately one second long. Crocodile. What? How many seconds does it take a boat to travel down the chute? Okay, you intrepid sailors, you. What is your estimate? Oh, I reckon five seconds. I reckon three seconds. Four seconds. I reckon four seconds. Well, Steve and Pat are absolutely right. Four seconds. Any tips for estimating distance for the group? Well, for shorter distances, I use my feet. I know they're approximately a quarter of a metre long, so I can use that as a gauge of estimation. And for longer distances? I look at my own body again. I'm approximately two metres tall. OK, team, how high is the reading on the high striker from here to the top of this purple bulb up here? 1.5 metres. 2.3 metres. 3.4 metres. 1.6 metres. Hmm, let's measure this one. I'm making sure the bottom of the rule is bang up against the bottom of the high striker, making sure it's in the correct place and that it's straight. So, let's see. 1.6 metres. Spot on, Steve. This boy is good. <laughs> and finally, temperature. So, John, how do you estimate? Well, I like to use the clothes we wear as a gauge of temperature. So, if we're wearing gloves, it's close to zero. If we have to wear shorts, it must be at least 20 degrees Celsius. Last challenge, then. What is the temperature of the water on Ramesses Revenge? Well, I place the thermometer in the water, just waiting for the mercury to settle and looking at it head on, it's 23 degrees Celsius. Given that water often feels hotter than it is on a cold day and colder than it is on a hot day, I'd say around about 23 degrees Celsius. And I'd say 22 degrees Celsius. No, I think it was cold on that, I'd say 18 degrees Celsius. I reckon 23 degrees Celsius. Well, the answer is, in fact, 23 degrees Celsius, so well done, John. But old Stevie <laughs> Smarty fans here, you got time, temperature, length, all right. You are the outright winner. Congratulations. Thank you.